You start life as a tiny egg, one of thousands arranged in neat piles inside a specialized nursery chamber where workers constantly lick and groom you with antibacterial secretions. The humidity never drops below 98% and the temperature remains a perfect 86 degrees Fahrenheit thanks to the tireless efforts of your future subjects. After about two weeks, you break free from your egg. Unlike most of your siblings who will become workers or soldiers, you've hatched with something special, a hormonal cocktail and genetic destiny that marks you for future royalty. But before you start fantasizing about tiny crowns and royal decrees, let me give you a reality check. Being termite royalty is like winning a nightmare lottery where the grand prize is spending the rest of your life as a living breeding factory with no chance of escape. For now, you're what entomologists call a nymph with wing buds, a potential royal, a princess in waiting. You'll go through several molts, shedding your exoskeleton every few weeks. Each time you grow larger, and those tiny wing buds on your back become more pronounced. Pheromones that essentially scream, Future royalty, handle with care. Hmm? They feed you a special diet, richer in proteins and nitrogen than the wood pulp your worker siblings consume. Your body is noticeably larger than your worker siblings, and you've got gorgeous, papery wings sprouting from your back that are twice as long as your body. They're basically preparing you for your one big adventure, a journey that will end with you becoming the most productive egg factory in the insect kingdom. Usually after rain, when the air is humid and the soil soft, you're pushed upward towards the surface. This is what entomologists romantically call a nuptial flight, an extremely high-stakes dating show where 99% of contestants get eaten before the first commercial break. Around you, your siblings are being picked off by hungry predators. A bird swoops through the swarm, catching several in one gulp. Less than 1% of you will survive long enough to start a colony. Despite having wings, termites are notoriously bad flyers. Hmm. Think of a paper airplane thrown by a toddler. Through the chemical haze of pheromones, you spot a potential mate. He's not exactly Brad Pitt in termite form, but beggars can't be choosers when 99% of your dating pool is being actively consumed by predators. Nom, nom, nom. When you decide you've flown far enough, you descend toward the ground and release a powerful chemical signal that practically screams, Husband wanted, apply here. Your chosen male races toward you and the mating ritual begins. You and your new boyfriend simultaneously perform one of the strangest moves in the animal kingdom, a ritualistic wing-shedding dance. You reach your legs over your back, grabbing at your wings while twisting your abdomen. With a crisp snap, your wings break off cleanly at the base. This wing-shedding is a point of no return, a physical commitment to your new sedentary lifestyle. You'll never fly again. Never. Ever. <coughs> now wingless, you and your mates scurry along the ground looking for a suitable spot to start your kingdom. You finally locate a promising crack in a rotting log and immediately set to work. Your male partner helps, though he's not exactly built for heavy digging. Oh. Digging frantically with your mandibles to create a small chamber, your royal suite. Once inside, 